I should, you, know, you know what just struck me? Out of all of the Patreon sponsored streams we've done over the years, I don't think anybody's requested a horror game. The closest thing I can think of is uh, FPS Monkey requesting fear. But, all right, let's try this. <laughs> okay, Pecunius, that sounds good. I'm sorry to hear that, Jonath. Much love to you. Who's this little wiggler? Never song is a moving story 18 of 18 months. Double Twitch baby, all the way. What does it mean? What's that? Never song is a moving story of loss and hope. It contains themes including traumatic death that some might find emotionally upsetting. Those who suffer, know that you're not alone. Please ask for help. Okay. All right. Ah! All the time. We can there always make it scary, right? An orphan what was troll? One second with the alerts. <laughs> His name was Pete. Pete. His world was gray until he I found can't pause a it. friend one day. It was no normal friend he'd found. She was but the prettiest girl in town. Pete made a From friend. From that day on, the summer bore adventures every single morn. Her That's name good. was Wren, so young and gay. She even had a small piano she'd play. From sharps and flats to middle C, she taught Pete to play and read. But on one fateful evening, they when looking for some place to play. Uh oh. Pete and Wren stumbled through a door onto an abandoned asylum floor. Uh oh. And from the shadows, a face of white snatched poor Wren out of sight. Pete was not like Wren at all. He was timid, scared, and small. And this was his last farewell, for Pete into a coma fell. Oh boy. Things got uh, pretty serious real quick there, didn't they? Okay, so I couldn't pause. We already started the game. I couldn't pause during the cutscenes. Sassy, you're amazing with the 18 month resub. That is awesome. You have the Jester Otter badge now. I hope you enjoy the badge upgrade. And Eldrin, thanks for the scare tip. Thank you so much. Yes. All right. Worst Dr. Seuss ever. There we go. Um, yeah, I couldn't I couldn't pause the, the cutscene, so. Apologies. Oh, I love the way he walks. Look at this. Bloop, 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 bloop. I thought he said we're in a coma. I guess we I guess we got we got better. I'm feeling much better after the coma. I don't know what that kid screaming was, but I hope it's not my friend. Yeah. Do I do voiceover? Do I do voiceovers? Are you open to it? I'm definitely open to it. I've never done any professional voice acting, no. Uh, Sassy, don't worry about it. It's not your fault. It's not your fault. These things happen. Uh, it's me that has, like, really interrupty, uh, alerts. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, he is pretty bouncy. Let's try to go over here. See what this is. Well, it's about tree fitting. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I would you only get one life while playing as Pete. From then on you play as repeat. <laughs> I heard you only get one life while playing as Pete. From then on you always play repeat. And then keep going and going. Alright, so this is a green door now. Or a green little light. Right, let's go over here. See what's up. Jump on the couch a little. Like you do. A and A. Bing, bing. There we go. Phone is ringing. Have I ever played Control? Just beat it today. What a strange game. I did play Control. I did. And some of the DLC. 
Yeah, we beat that on stream last year. It was one of my top games last year. Check voicemail. Hey! It's me! Do I go in these doors or I just... I'm just making them green. A game by Thomas Brush and Serenity Forge. Just a few hours, Azaria. Five or six, something like that. Five or six hours. Okay, so I can't do the IE or the L word or the L door. Boom, boom. No, not 42. Smile. A portrait. The word smile is scratched into the parchment. Dr. Smile. Truth or dare. Ah. Ah. Okay. Oh. And there's a timer. Smile. S. Wait! Look at this freak in the window. Sorry. Did you see, was that guy there before? This guy with the knife? He has, literally has a knife. S. Believe. Believe the SM. God. I. Smile. Ah! Get the hell out of here. What are you doing, you freak? Okay, there's Dr. Smile again. The pendulum of doom. Never saw. <laughs> okay. I figured out the first puzzle with no help whatsoever. I just want everybody to know that. So when I'm asking for help all throughout the rest of the stream, that's why. <laughs> Hi, Dragon Tears. Hey, Blue Feline. How's it going? Oh, can I play the piano? Yes. You say this is your first lesson? Yeah. But my dad was a piano mover. So. Come on, you knew that joke had to happen. All right, let's go. A cozy fireplace. Save the game. <laughs> Booty Bum Pals, 1952. Oh, yes. Your dusty mattress. Examine. Ren's parents are so nice. Sleeping here beats that old orphanage cot any day. I broke it. Now, was that a vase or a vase? Ah, let's go this way. You still don't understand that joke? Is it not? Is it not supposed to make sense? Exactly. Exactly. It's from Groundhog Day, and he takes piano lessons, right? But every day he goes back for more piano lessons. The piano teacher thinks it's his first day teaching all over again, right? So when she, when he's finally getting good at piano, and she goes, "You say this is your first lesson?" He just looks at her and goes, "Yeah, but my dad was a piano mover, so." And then he keeps playing, and she's like. Love that line. All right, so now we're, this is a lot less scary out here. What can we do here? I need an umbrella to take the wind up, I guess. That's Ren's house. Okay, Ren's house. 
Redwind Village. Oh, I want to go left. We're going to go left, though. Hey, Cassie B, what's up? Yesterday was a long day without you streaming. I'm sorry. You know what? I meant to put on a... Um, a, uh, a rerun before I left for haircuts in the morning, and then I forgot. And then that didn't happen at all. I apologize. You wonder how long he was stuck in Groundhog Day? I wonder. There are some videos that, that break it down and try to analyze it, but it's something like 40-something years is, I believe. Somewhere between 10 and 40 years, I think. All right, I can't get up here. I wonder, this is going to be like a little Metroidvania-ish. Hmm. You had to do housework and stuff and it was a nightmare. Oh no, without the stream. 10 to 40 years is quite the difference, but it, you have to watch the videos that break it down, Pinky Fluff. There, there's like reasons why the calculations are... Uh, so widespread it's like it's like how long does it take for somebody to ma master french poetry or ice sculpting and it, it could each one of those activities can vary so but it's interesting to see the analysis anyway don't drive angry that's right is it too early for flapjack something's written on the door in crayon this hotel is now the property of the exclusive exclusive booty bum gang it's now called Booty Bum Clubhouse, and you can suck a big one. Punky. Okay. 1,001, 1,002, 1,003. It's John. Oh, crap, not another interruption. I'm in the middle of jumping to a billion, Pete. You're gonna jump into a billion, Pete? I told myself I need to jump to a billion five hundred fifty. It will make me feel amazing. Why? Um, same reason growing my hair out to 1.73 meters will make me feel like a god. Why is that? My therapist asked me the same stupid questions. Mind your own business, dude. Sorry. So can I help you? 1015, 1016, 1017. Where's Ren? Considering you're the reason everyone's parents have been missing all summer, I keep questions like that on the down low. I'm the reason everyone's parents have been missing all summer? Cool. I mean, you fainted in terror as Ren was kidnapped. So the grown-ups went to Black Fork Asylum to try and find her. Hey, you weren't supposed to know about that. They haven't been back since. Sorry. It's all right, buddy. Just be careful asking stupid questions. I, for one, am about to head out to look for my dad because of you. There's no such thing as stupid questions. Only stupid people. After I finish counting, of course. Bye. One thousand. Hey, Pete. What's up? Where's Red? I told you, bud. All right. It's locked with some kind of gemstone padlock. I steal the gemstone padlock. Can I make this baseball? I can, yes. I can be a destructive little boy. Gemstone padlock. I'm the base destroyer. Oh, I can go in here. This looks like a barbershop. Redwind Barbershop. I was right. A message is scribbled on the mirror. C, G, C, G, B. Remember our song, Pete? Ren. How did this get here? Red Wind Sonata. A love song scribbled on the mirror. Okay. CG, CGB. I break it. Pete! 
You're finally awake. Preston. My heart is full. I what was up? about to adventure out to the Spiderian sewer to look for the grown-ups. I'll admit, my tummy is filled with little butterflies. Where? That coma must have given you a serious case of retrograde amnesia. The Spiderian sewer was our favorite spot last summer. Me, you, Ren, everyone. I'm sorry, Preston, but I have no memory of you. Anyways, I think a grown-up might be down there. I heard him screaming. Where's Ren? Golly, you don't want to know what I think, my curious friend. If you must know, it is my belief that, well, um, that your girlfriend is likely dead. Uh, excuse me? Baking powder? Oh, my heart skips a beat just thinking the dreadful thought. Her epilepsy hasn't been great lately, Pete. Her epilepsy? I'm not sure how long she'll last. Help me? I'd help you find her, but I gotta go check out the Spiderian sewer first. Jukebox. The jukebox is playing an old tune. The screen says it's called Mama Make Me Happy. Mama Make Me Happy. Okay. Oh, you can go up here. Alright, let me break this vase. Thank you. It's locked from the inside. This guy's gonna be named Wallace. Just guessing. Wallace is here. Hey. No, it's Chad. It's the Chad. Hey. Sup. We honestly didn't think you'd make it out of your coma, bro. What coma? It's been a while since you were awake. You really don't remember Look what Look at happened? his hat. His hat says sports. <laughs> sports ball. <laughs> It's been a while since you were awake. You don't really remember what happened. Nope. Well, I'm glad you're back. Too bad about Ren, though. Hmm. I mean, apparently she was, like, kidnapped right in front of your face, bro. The kids are saying you got so scared you went into a coma. I peed my pants, then fell into a coma. Thank you very much. Don't worry. Nobody's judging. You were just too chicken to take care of her. The slug wasn't worth it to you. I get it. The slug? Rin's nickname? We all call her the slug. It started as the Red Wind Slugger. You know, because of her epic baseball bat. <laughs> You've forgotten a lot, haven't you, bro? Yeah, apparently. Not sure where she hit it, though. Okay, bye. You need a hat like that? Me too. Sports ball. Go your favorite sports team. Oh, crap. I fell back down. This is the barber shop, yeah? So where was Ren's house with the piano? That was back to the left, right? All right, let's go. Ren's house, Ren's house had a piano. We can play the song. Was the damn song? <laughs> Songbook. C G C G B. C G C G B. That's pretty great. All right. <gasps> Treasure. The Red Wind Slugger. Ren's vintage baseball bat with a cracking leather grip. This thing aches for a good whacking. What? Oh, yes. Now we can fight. Screw you, base. Oh, yeah. That's so fun. Did I say something naughty? Uh, Golomancy Dragon Tears are giving me the oh my's. Smashing pumpkins. 
Can I hurt kids? Good. Can't. Can't accidentally hurt people. Or at least those people. Ugh. Everything you whack gives you points for additional lives. Oh, yeah? Oh, nice. I'm already full, though. I'm already full. It's locked from the inside. 33. 33. 33 months of insanity. D love my otter family. Did D. You, did you mean to rhyme? You're a poet. What's up, Shavaria? Thanks for the 33. You're amazing. Blue feline's like, Vandal! It takes 100 points to add a heart. Oh. Red wind field. Pete, it's me, Bird. You woke up. Hey, what's up, Bird? I'm locked in this cage. That's what's up. You sound upset. What's wrong? I just saw Ren. Really? Yeah. A man carried her down into the Spiderian sewer. Oh. Without her medication, I don't see her lasting much longer. She has medication? Okay. Quick, use that bat to get me out of this cage. Okay. I'll give it a try. Ugh. I did it. I freed it. All right, what's this? A cozy fireplace. I shall save. Let's go. What's this? A heart fizzle. If you collect 100 of these, you'll get another heart. Ah, see, that's my first fizzle, though. I wasn't getting fizzles before. Oh, my first enemy. Get out of here. What the hell was that? Parkour. It's Gumboisa. Up here, Pete. I see you. It is I, the mighty parkour ninja, Gumboisa, at your service. Have you seen Ren? Yeah, I just saw some guy take her down into the Spiderian sewer. He was just crawling around, dragging her in a cage. Not sure if that's a problem. What? Um, I tried to help, honest. But, well, I already told John I'd help him find his dad so yeah i'm busy dude i <laughs> uh, just kidding um yeah ren taught me how to get on these egg things uh, she just never taught me how to get down what still try to work that out really yep ren was a parkour legend dude she made me these sexy magnetic gloves really helps me grip these eggs i call them gum voice of grips huh I think she might have another pair somewhere in her house. Anyways, dude, once I figure out how to get down, John and I are heading to the cemetery. Okay, so she has magnetic gloves in her house somewhere? Help find his dad. We have to find everybody. Should I go back? And look for it in her house or not yet? Looks like a coma card. Collect the whole set of coma cards. These things are all the rage in Redwind. There's a ton of them hiding all over the place. Be sure to collect and equip to change your outfit. Oh. That's pretty cool. Equip to wear a headband. Gomboisa is the kid that thinks he's cool because he's because parkour. He's nice though, so who cares? Okay, so how do we do this? Ah, look at you guys, 40, 80, 90, 50. That's great. How do I equip it? Bloop, bloop. Equip. Why? All right, we got a headband. Hey, puke face, get over here and help me. I'm stuck. Did you just, did you just call me puke face and then ask for help? Isn't it obvious, puke? No. I have hypoinflammatory disorder. I inflate randomly. Okay, what can I do to help? Give me my sewing needle, puke fart. My mom gave it to me for emergency poppage for just such occasions. Puke fart. Those little 
turns. The spiders snatched it right out of my pocket and ran up a tree. I'm on it. Hey, puke thing, isn't it odd? I have had... Give me my sewing needle. Those little turns. The spiders snatched it. Spiders? Are you stupid? Ever since your precious little wren went missing, things have gotten strange. So hurry up. If you don't give me my sewing needle fast, the spiders are going to bite my face off. Very interesting that he's not nicer, despite all that information. It's a spooter. Ow. Okay, so you can't hit down. Hey! Alright, I need the magnet gloves to go up there. I agree, Goldmessy. Not the best plan to insult the person that's trying to help you, right? Thanks for following. Excuse me. All right. Pete, check it out in the tree. Is that Simeon's sewing needle? Grab it, bird. Yes. All right. Ren's favorite spot. All right, let's go. Let's go pop this kid. Bring the needle. How about I just hit you with my bat? I know, right, Federal? Bing, bing. down. I fell down there too. I like this guy dancing, literally dancing on my shoulder. Help! These spiders are going to eat me alive. Too bad, butt face. All right. Oh crap on a cracker. I didn't want to go back up. Hey, but the guy's dancing on my shoulder again. He's dancing. Should I go look for the gloves? I can do that. I would probably do that. Unless Sparkwood tells me I can't yet. Ooh, shiny. Parkour. Wait a second. I just realized something. Are we friends? I never really knew. Of course. Yep. We were only friends because Ren was around. I'll be honest. Now that she's not around, I don't really know you. Um. What's your favorite color? Like, if you had to choose between red, blue, and yellow, which would you choose? I need another song. Okay. Red. Red is boring. Yeah. I don't know if we can be friends, red boy. Parkour, parkour, parkour. Woo! You're the best, Pete. That's me. Yeah, I don't know. So far, we haven't met many nice people. You see how he dissed me for my favorite color? That's not nice. All right. A Spiderian sewer.
Did that say anything? Or just blocked me? It blocked me with the power of pillars and fungus. Okay. Oh, that's a giant one. I'm fighting right up right behind my head. <laughs> All right. It's a school. What is a school bus doing down here? I don't even know how I did that. Hey, who's this? Who this guy? He's doing orange justice dance. Pete. Hey Pete, it's me, Calm Toddler. Calm Toddler? I'm playing a game of hide and seek with my big Oh, sorry. Ah! Accidental alt tab. I'm playing a game of hide and seek with my big bro going boysa. That's not going a well though. You're just down here by yourself in the sewers. You seen him around? Yes! Where's the F for F? Haha! <laughs> <laughs> Swing it in the field! Oh, John, he tricked me. I don't think he was actually playing hide and seek. Wish I could beat his butt. I am sick of him tricking me. I can never reach him though on those eggs. Huh. Maybe if I had that bat though. Did you know that you can swing upwards with your bat and go a little bit higher than normal? I do now! Of course you did. That's why they call you the slug. Yes. That's right. <laughs> oh no, there's spikes down here. Why does the elevator look like a ghost? If you hit when jumping against the wall, you push yourself up higher. Ah, okay. Ow. Does that hurt? Yeah, and stay down. Sit down before you fall down and pick up all these damn batons. All right, let's go. The nest. I'm gonna go this way first. No, I'm gonna go up. I wanted to go up. I'm just dumb. Red Melion, thanks for following. That centipede thingy, is it wearing an apron? <laughs> it is, it is wearing an apron. Open the door. Nice. Oh, crap. Wait, hold on. That sends me all the way up, doesn't it? Maybe we can get up and over then. That's pretty cool. Hey. All right. 
Guess that's just some extra stuff up here, huh? What is this? Look at these eyeballs. Is this good to have this stuff raining on me? It's probably spores. Bad. Hey, Dada, what's up? Uh, let's break that. I'm gonna become a clicker now, I know. That's what I'm afraid of. What is this guy all about? Wow, this thing is horrifying. What is? What is it? What? Um, never mind. It's a little crazy. Let's just keep moving. Come on. You're gonna think I'm insane, but I think that might be a grown up. That's a grown up? What did, what did I do to all the adults? I'm gonna smack them. Oh, I can't. All right, grown-ups are scary. Confirmed. Me, Duke. I think she's hungry. Uh, no thanks. Seriously? You popped me, didn't you? Ren always talked about how you're such a saint. No thanks. Don't you puke. Be a saint and get me out of here. Okay. Oh, this is great. I can just roll them. Oh, man. I wish I had a friend like that. You can get up all different high places you normally can't get to. It's great. Oh, there's a girl in a cage. Despite all my rage. I broke it. <laughs> what is that thing? I don't know. What is that thing? It was that thing again. That thing. That thing had taken rest. Don't be mad. I'm <laughs> just a child. But his wrinkling face only smiled. I'm starving. And I need to eat. So I snatched your pal. The perfect treat. A snack like that is said to make your wrinkling skin look younger, girl. I want the grown ups back. I just want the grown ups back. That's so wrong. Okay. Here, I'll give you this. Kid, that, that's a ball. So I can't interact? Hey, Echo Pulse. Oh, I can. Hi. Holy crap. Okay. That's kind of freaky, right, Joe? You're fine. Oh, look what you did, Puss Man. No more covered in sand. Great observation. I hope your precious Wren is dead. How dare you? You're kidding, right? You roll me through sand and expect me to be nice? What is your I problem? How about don't make me mad, idiot, and I'll be nice. No wonder Ren ran off and got herself kidnapped. She couldn't stand you. That guy's so bad. I hate that guy. A cozy fireplace, same game. Unfortunately, he's like my only friend.
wonder why they give me all that. No! No! Oh, I can get up there. Hold on, let me fight this thing. I'm almost dead. I died. What? I died by a little spooter. I think we just saved it. No, it wasn't all a dream. Repeat. Now we got repeat. This day just keeps getting weirder and weirder. It does. <laughs> Preston's lab. We found Preston. Preston's drawn a diagram in chalk on the roots. Sent a spider. Sent a spider. Length, three miles. Three miles. Age, one week. Properties, deaf, blind, and sleepy. It is possible she was heavily sedated. This game has some limbo vibes? A little bit, yeah. Notes. Elevated heart rate occurs with certain smells, specifically sludge, spider eggs, and sand. Sand. Okay. Dr. Smile and a birdcage. Pete! Welcome to my state-of-the-art research facility. Hi! This, my friend, is where I'll crack the case to the missing adults and our poor friend, Red. There's no question science can't answer. Sure! Although I have to admit, all I have are questions. Let's examine the facts. Okay. Fact. There's a giant centipede downstairs, Ooh. and she only seems to respond to smell. Fact! There's some weird man sneaking around Redwind and beyond. I even snapped a photo of him on the water tower in the marsh. Yes, yes, all of these facts are definitely strange. Last! My mind can only fathom the rich rewards of writing my thesis to such bewildering questions. I should get back to work. Nothing a day's reading and research can handle. Okay. Centipede that responds to smells. Dr. Smile and a birdcage. I don't want to meet Dr. Smile. Dr. Smile seems not so smiley. There's a radio up there, too. You like Preston Techno Newt? The way the scenes blend so seamlessly, it's very appealing. Yeah. Fuck. Alright. Come on, little dude. I wonder if I have to bring the, the other guy with me. Strange painting. I have a feeling we have to bring our friend with us here. Can we, can I bring him up here? Hello, friend. I'm gonna go back down and see if, uh, Hey! It won't let me go back down. Screw it. Bleeding Fish says, all your D&D talk has made me want to play. So next week I'm DMing my first game ever with some friends. I just ordered the starter kit today. Oh, nice Bleeding Fish. Good luck with it. I get good points for those big lanterns. What big lanterns?
You're a bit scared, but you can't wait. Yeah, I get nervous too. I get nervous too when we play D&D. &D. I don't know why. It's weird. Suits over here. Oh, there's a big one. I don't think I can reach yet. Probably reach with this. What if I roll him through that? Is that gonna be okay? <laughs> Jeans. Sure did. You know, I smell like red. Such a pig fart. Just like you. What's your problem? You. My problem is you. I've tried to be nice to you, but my patience is running thin. I'm done with you. No biggie. Who says phrases like that? Such a prissy. I look at my dad's naughty magazines every morning because I'm a man. That's very manly. <laughs> it's not easy either. I'm glad I make time every day for it. It's hard work. You wouldn't know about hard work. Technically, this resub isn't a full year of... Shut, Shut up. up. Oh my all goodness. All right, all right. Thank you for the one year of subbing. You're utterly awesome. One year. Yes. Brave one year, Bo got her butt, Bo got her butt. Thank you so much for the one year. You've got the Viking Otter badge. Congrats on one year. Thank you so much for the all the support. You're awesome. I've been love. Welcome to Never Song. all the way back here. Isn't this where we started? We've gone full circle. Hold on. Did I ever go over here? No. I can actually bring him over here, right? This game reminds you of fusion of Night in the Woods and Limbo. Feels nice. There's definitely a little of a Limbo vibe. I've never played uh, Night in the Woods. I wonder what the, if having him over here helps. Almost died. It is your fault. Did you say no? It's not your fault. You gotta be careful. Get away. Get away. Get away. Heart. You suck. Heart. Yes. All right, where's the dude? All right, we'll move this over here. Uh, anybody just tuning in, we're gonna do our Neobar giveaway around 1 p.m. Or I take my break. 
We've got a Bogathon coming up this Friday, our first Bogathon since March, where you guys control how long I stream up to 14 hours. We're gonna be playing Death Stranding for the first time. I can't get to these big lanterns. I need double jump. So then you can beat 1% of Death Stranding in one stream. That's right. Okay. Uh-oh. Can I push this? I think I just... Screwed everything up. I can't get up back up here. Do I have Ghost of Tsushima in plans? Yes! We're gonna be playing that. Yep. It might not be like right on release. But I do have plans to play that this month. I have to go all the way back around to get that guy. I don't know where I'm supposed to bring him. You did this did this moments ago. I know, but I didn't have uh I didn't have the guy with me though. Oh, here we go. We go up and around. Remember what Preston said? Preston said there was a snaky centipede thing that responds to smell. Is that what I'm supposed to remember? Let's get get these eyeballs on this guy. Here we go. Yeah, spider eggs. Yay! Your insults suck. That's very mature. That's very mature. Whatever, dude. Three smells? Oh, I don't remember him saying that at all. We have eggs, sand, and gook on them. Ugh. I need a longer weapon. I'm constantly hurting myself. Just for getting too close. Oh, you gotta wake this guy. Here, do I have all the smells? I don't have all the smells. Are you pushing a guy in a bubble? No, we're, we're pushing a guy who has a rare condition where he inflates. That's what he said. He's inflated. I'm missing one of the three smells, aren't I? If I drop him in here, does that get water on him? I think it does. I don't want him to get washed off. All right, there's the sand. Now he's got three smells. Let's go back. No more water. Too much Taco Bell? Yeah, that, that causes this too. There we go. It's Mrs. Richardson! Oh my god, that's why they made this guy awful, so that we have no problem feeding it to him. Hi, Chills. Oh, is that, is, uh... Is that, is that the mom? Mrs. Richardson, Simeon, is that you, sweetie? You're so swollen. Oh, 
Oh no. Yes, eat him. Good. Good riddance. Mrs. Richardson! Oh god, first boss. Miss! Now pop your little boils or whatever they are. Okay, that hurt. Hey! Oh, don't, don't, oh. what happened to half your head? Music notes accompanying that move. Oh, well, there's musical notes at the top. again. It's easier when you do that. Put your head in the ground! There we go. Yes! Oh, and plus we got a fifth heart. Yes, give me this. You've learned a new song. Yay. B, C, D, A, E. Scream from lengthy esophagus of Mrs. Richardson. A Spiderian overture. There's a little bit of, um... What was that game we played with the bard? It's a little bit of that, right? That reminds me a little bit of the bard game. What's the bard game? Ah, uh, B, C, D, A, E, Wander Song. That's right. So this is Never Song. We played Wander Song already. Dude, play I'm so confused. There. Now that I'm thinking about it, I heard Gumboys are talking about this a week ago. Okay. Looks like the grown-ups are turning into monsters. Every that time. Can't be. Every time I hit the button to advance the uh, the dialogue, it sounds like the uh, switch snap sound effect. Right? Listen. Anyways, Gumboisa mentioned finding three sleeping monsters. I hate to say it, but I think we need to wake them up to find Ren. They apparently know how to sing. <laughs> they know how to sing. It does even the echo, I know, right? Or scream. <laughs> exactly. Ugh, I'm glad that's over with. Kind of freaked me out. One down, two to go. Quick, let's go play that song we learned on Ren's piano. Easy for you to say. I'm the one that has to walk. <laughs> side by side on my piano keyboard. Oh, Lord. How does it sound if you use the Go XLR and do a snap? It's pretty close. The first one was good. Subsequent uh, attempts, not so much. Woo 
<laughs> yeah, Nintendo Switch. Every time I advance the dialogue, it sounds like a echoed snap. All right, here we go. Yes, I got up here. Oh man, I fudged it up. I want to get that lantern. Oh, I got it. it. Had nothing in it. What a rip. Rip off. Rip off. Hey, I got a new outfit. What we got? Ding. Preston. Equipped to wear glasses. He'll likely be the richest of all the children when he grows up. Probably some inventor or something in San Fran. <laughs> That's where all the successful people go, right? San Fran. Oh, I want to equip it. How do I equip it? <laughs> Preston. Ah. Hey, look, I got glasses on. Look at me with my fancy glasses. I drained the swamp water. Swamp water. Uh, did I do everything I needed to do up on the top there? Guess we'll try to go out. Let's go play the piano. Let's do it. All right. By the way, anybody that's just coming in, this is Never Song. It's on sale 20% off on Steam right now. You can type hashtag game if you want to snag it during the Steam sale, which ends in two days. Make sure you grab anything you want from Steam before that sale goes away. Um... 45, 45. Bogot or lurk. Tall Fontos, thanks for the 45. You're awesome. 2020, oh, 2021. He's still counting. I heard about Simeon's mom. Yeah. I'm not so sure I want you helping me find my dad. I'll help. Parkour. Where you been, dude? Being a hero. Nice. How about you be a hero and join me and John in Neverwood Cemetery? We could use your ripe and shiny biceps. You got it. Did you hear that, gang? I have ripe and shiny biceps. But you guys already knew that, didn't you? You guys already knew. Look at this thing. Okay. That looked unpleasant. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. No. 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 What? I know the loading screen is great, isn't it? What's up, FPS? You'll compete for that title? Which title? Shiny Biceps title? Let's do it. Here he is. He's my little buddy. Yes. Bad wind village. I forget, is this the room? It's locked from the inside. Blue Feline says, Bog, I just beat Bad North Jotun, the game you gave me for a raffle. Thanks a bunch. It was really, really fun. That is awesome. I love it when games from our game vault get played and enjoyed. By the fab fabulous Ottoman Empire. Is this, this was the barber shop, wasn't it? Yes. Hopefully, we get to stick to those orange balls. It's out of context. That sentence horrible. But I hope we get to stick to the orange balls after we play the song on the piano. 
I want to stick to orange balls for playing the song on the piano. All right, here we go. What's the song? Do I need to know the song? B C D A E. B C D A E. B C D A E. Come boys to grip a shiny firm set of magnetic gauntlets. Jump into magnetic eggs to swing. Why are there magnetic eggs? Like I immediately accept the fact that there are magical gloves that allow you to s to stick to magnetic eggs, but I can't accept why there are magnetic magnetic eggs to begin with. Thank you for quoting that, Pinky Fluff. All right, let's go. 